Welcome back. All right, so a uh, video today on career of Milan Hayduke. And I'm going to go ahead and make this a THG Hall of Fame in in induction. And because Hayduke was one of my favorite players at a time when I wasn't necessarily cheering for the Avs. Keep in mind, I was a big fan of the Nordiques. Upset when they moved to Colorado. Not for the city of Denver. I was happy Denver was getting a team, but at the expense of the Nordiques, a team I liked a lot. So... Milan Hayduke is drafted 87th overall in 1994. And I got to be honest, at, in this time, we didn't hear a lot about prospects. Not really. It wasn't anywhere near as robust as it is now. So to me, Hayduke was kind of an unknown. And then he played for the Czech Republic. And I thought he was really good. And uh, eventually, he's part of a 1998 gold medal team for the Czech Republic in Nagano, Japan. Now, played four games. No points. But he was really notable out there. Now, the 98-99 season, he played a full full season as a rookie for Colorado. 82 games, 14 goals, 34 assists, 48 points. And he's a good player. There wasn't really that indication of how good he was going to get. He was on the all-rookie team, and he ends up being third in Calder voting. So he's a finalist for the Calder, and in the playoffs, 16 games, 6 goals, 6 assists, 12 points. This, of course, is during the Colorado... Uh, Dallas and Detroit era where the three of them were exchanging who was the best in the West. And of course, 99, that's the year that Dallas goes to the final, wins in the Stanley Cup. 99-2000, 82 games played, 36 goals, which was sixth overall in the NHL, dead puck era. 36 assists and 72 points for Hey Duke. And as a second year, no sophomore jinx here in the playoffs. 17 games, five goals, four assists, nine points. So Hey Duke, you can look at his postseason totals there and say well they probably wanted more out of him there right but 2000 2001 he shows that he is still an elite goal scorer in the regular season and then in the postseason you get what you want from him 80 games in the regular season that year 41 goals which is seventh overall 38 assists 79 points in the playoffs plays 23 games seven goals 16 assists 23 points and a stanley cup so while the patch on this one is the 96 Stanley Cup, and this is a, a Joe Sackick jersey. Uh, he he was not a part of the 96 team, but he was part of the 01 team. And he was kind of an important part of that team as well. So Milan Haydu gets a championship there. 2001-2002, 62 games, 21 goals, 23 assists, 44 points. And in the playoffs, 16 games, 3 goals, 3 assists for 6 points. 2002-2003, this is his career year. This is the big year. 82 games. 50 goals. So after a down season with 21, he bounces back with 50. 48 assists as well. So he ends up with 98 points, which is second over... Or that was fourth overall in the NHL. It says second, but I'm pretty sure it was fourth. Uh, he was first overall in goals, though. He wins the Rocket Richard Trophy. He's a second team all-star. Really, the sky seems to be the limit for him at this point. And he was fourth in Lady Bing voting. So gentlemanly player as well in seven playoff games, two goals, two assists for four points in 2003. 0 4 82 games, 35 goals, which was seventh overall, 40 assists and 75 points. He was seventh in Lady Bing voting that year. Ends up playing 11 games in the playoffs, five goals, two assists for seven points. Now, what's interesting going back to the 0 3 season as well, he led the league in plus minus, should have mentioned that during the 0 3 portion of this, with a plus 52. So he's he's not a Selkie winner by any stretch, but that plus 52 is still very, very impressive whether you read anything into plus minus or not. So he goes home for the 0405 season because the NHL is not playing. So he plays for Pardubice, and uh, yeah, it works out pretty well for him. Or Pardubice, sorry. Pardubice ends up winning the championship in 05. So he goes home to the Czech Republic, wins his only Czech Republic championship there, and so comes back to the NHL. A little bit more in that championship cabinet for him, right? 0506, 6 74 games, 24 goals, uh, 34 assists, 58 points. In the playoffs, 9 games played, 2 goals, 6 assists, 8 points. He bounces back again in 07, or 06, 07, 80 games, 35 goals, 35 assists, 70 points. So, very you know, there, there's the ups and the downs in there. But even when he's down, his goal scoring is pretty good. He has one of the better shots in the league. And he's still an excellent offensive forward. 2007-2008, 77 games, 
29 goals, 25 assists, 54 points in the playoffs. 10 games played, 3 goals, 3 assists, 6 points. 2008-2009, 82 games, 27 goals, 32 assists, 59 points. Remarkably consistent through, I'll say, those first four years after we come out of the uh, lockout, wiped out season. 2009-2010, only plays 56 games, 23 goals, 21 assists, 4, 44 points. So that's a drop, uh, but again, points per game, it's not that bad, right? In the playoffs, his last appearance in the playoffs, plays three games, ends up with one goal. If you hear Jets, it's because there's an air show going on. So it was delayed. There, there was rain, the first rain we've had in a month and a half, and the air show gets delayed. Should have been over by now. It's just getting going. I feel bad for people who've waited for the air show for hours, being told, maybe, 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 and it's finally happening. 2010-2011, uh, he plays 71 games, 22 goals, 34 assists, 56 points. And it's right about here that there's a lot of discussions about his his speed. I seem to remember that speed was becoming a problem. And again, as you get older, that happens. Just saying from experience, as you get older, things, see, things tend to slow down. 2011-2012, uh, 81 games, 14 goals, 23 assists, and 37 points. So now his offense is in free fall. That's the first time he doesn't get to 21 goals, or 20 goals, I should say, since his rookie season where he also had 14 goals. 2012-2013, he ends up being a healthy scratch, and he ends up being played in a checking role. 29 games, 4 goals, 7 assists, 11 points in what would be his final season. He was willing to come back and play in 2013-2014 for Colorado. They did not offer him a contract. So he went home to Europe. He didn't play anywhere else. He went home to Europe and uh, finished out his career there. He still just had the one championship in Europe, but it's a pretty good career for him, right? He ends up with 1,020 games played, 375 goals, so 25 short of 400. If not for 0405 being wiped out, he would have hit 400 goals in his career. 430 assists, 805 points. Probably would have ended up in about the 875 range, 870 range for points, right? Uh, again, if that season gets played. In the playoffs, 112 games, 34 goals, 42 assists, 76 points. And and the reason I'm going to put him in, in my Hall of Fame again is that, you know, he's a player I cheered for, player that I always enjoyed watching, and he had a good long career. He's not going to end up in the National Hockey League Hall, or he's not going to end up in the Hockey Hall of Fame. It's not the National Hockey League Hall of Fame. It's the Hockey Hall of Fame. He's not going to end up in there, but he had a very notable career. And... He kind of came out of nowhere, at least to me, as a fan that at the time, under, you know, I, I was not really up to up to speed on who was coming up for uh, Colorado. I remember Marek Svatos when he came up and he kind of out of nowhere had a 32 goal season, at least again for me. 2000, 2001 and 2009, he played in the All-Star game those three years. So he's a three time All-Star. He's a second-team All-Star in 0203, and he won a Rocket Richard Trophy. Um, the number 23, as far as I know, not retired by Colorado. At some point, could it be? Yeah, you could probably make an argument for retiring that number. As far as I know, it's not retired, uh, but you could make that argument for him. He had two playoff overtime goals as well in 99 against the San Jose Sharks. So out of his six goals in those 16 games, two of them are overtime winners against San Jose, showing us... He could be a key guy at key times. So there you go. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below regarding the career of, of Hey Duke. And again, you know, it's it's kind of this arbitrary thing about who does or doesn't and go into the, the THG Hall of Fame. I want, I'm, I'm putting Hey Duke in there. So there you go. Uh, let me know your thoughts. Hit like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And hey, thank you guys so much for watching, for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.